Welcome to another edition of Sean's Video Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to smash that bell next to the subscribe button. Turn on all my notifications. Leave your comments. Share my videos on Twitter and Facebook. Now, this video um, was brought to you by, um, well, this is a delicate situation. This is one of those things where my viewers and my subscribers wanted me to talk about it. It's nothing huge or major, but it is news. It is noteworthy to a degree. And my, my viewers and subscribers always say to me, you know, if there's any two wrestlers I wish you could talk about more, I wish you could talk about Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. And obviously, we're both no longer with us due to the tragedies and the travesties and the controversies and what have you behind them. Obviously, there's not going to be a lot of news and rumors on Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. Obviously, if they were still alive and with us today, I would give you more news and rumors. So it's very limited on what I can give you about Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. But since my viewers and subscribers, since I take your suggestions on what news you want me to talk about, I will do that for the viewers and the subscribers. Just to make sure to click that bell, comment, share my videos. My social media links are below. Facebook and Twitter where this is com completely interactive. And we do giveaways, shout outs, comments, and all that. Now on Wednesday morning, ESPN... Their website had Eddie Guerrero listed as the winner of the 2004 Royal Rumble, which was actually won by Chris Benoit. Both the late Eddie Guerrero, the late great Eddie Guerrero, and Chris Benoit. ESPN, however, qu quickly corrected the mistake in botch and changed it to Chris Benoit. Didn't they used to call him that in WCW? But no, I mean, th 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 like I said, it wasn't nothing major, but my viewer, I, I must have got about, I'd say, five to ten messages. Maybe, maybe, maybe eight or nine. I'll, I'll say eight or nine. It was between five and ten this morning. Um, and and you know, this there was actually some outrage about this, and I can I can see where there'd be some outrage. But you know, Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero were both involved in the Royal Rumble event, but obviously Chris Benoit won that match, and then they would go on to have that illustrious moment, that history-making uh, image at WrestleMania 20 in Madison Square Garden, where we know that Eddie Guerrero is now enshrined in the Hall of Fame, and he will be remembered for years to come. Now, I can't say the same about Chris Benoit, who was one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, but obviously what he did uh, after the fact is always going to be a very big bleep on the radar, and um, you know, it's, it's very tough for me to talk about Chris Benoit uh, you know, like I said, one of the most respectable, listen, you can't take away the guy, the guy's accolades and what he accomplished and what he did and putting his body on the line and, you know, but, you know, ESPN making a web, uh, you know, a crucial mistake like that, you know, is going to get people talking. So my viewers and subscribers wanted me to bring more light to it. They wanted me to bring it up because my viewers and subscribers said, if Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit were still alive, Sean, would you give us the news and rumors about them? Yes, I would. If there was backstage rumors, news, and updates, I would. But obviously, it's kind of hard to do that when they're no longer alive. So when there is some kind of news bits or history facts or something about Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, I will try to bring it to you. But obviously... When you're dead, there's not really much you can cover. So I'm just doing this to the viewers and the subscribers who suggested this because I do let the viewers and subscribers suggest what rumors, news, and headlines they want me to talk about because this channel is completely interactive and fan-driven. So your comments and your opinions on ESPN's mistake by having Benoit say it said as not the winner, but but Eddie Guerrero. Now, if it, if it serves me correctly, and, I, you know... You can correct me if I'm wrong on this, because this is going back a long, a long time ago. I mean, I, I was a young cat back in 2004. I was still in school. Um, you know, be, this is even before YouTube was around, right? I think Eddie Guerrero was in a championship title defense that night, if history serves me correctly. But I could be wrong. You can correct me on that. Um, you know, I, I do know a lot of WWE history. I do know a lot of WWE facts. I've been watching wrestling since I was four years old. But, I, you know, I will have some mishaps and, and slip-ups here and there because I'm not perfect, I'm not God, and I'm certainly not Eddie Guerrero. So, uh, but your comments, your opinions, and um, there you go. There's your update on Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. I hope you enjoyed it. I, once again, uh, my viewers and subscribers have told me just hearing Eddie Guerrero's name would be good enough. So, there you go. More to come. Stay tuned as I work around the clock on all news, rumors, and headlines in WWE. Click that bell. And, well, subscribe if you want to, but that subscribe button really doesn't mean much now. That bell next to the subscribe button is actually more noteworthy. Thank you for watching. Your comments, your opinions. And um, should have Eddie Guerrero won the Royal Rumble, but if he was a WWE champion, that's kind of hard to do because he was already the champion. So, more to come. Stay tuned. Please go watch all the videos previous to this one as it was a jam-packed and loaded day of news, rumors, and headlines in WWE.